We are following breaking news right now in Kingfisher County, where police say the person they believe is responsible for a deadly shooting at a Hobby Lobby distribution center this afternoon has died. This is on Highway 33, just northwest of Cashin. Now, we're told this started as a chase with the suspect's car in Payne County just after 7 o'clock before the car spun out and crashed here. That led to a standoff with law enforcement from nearly a dozen different agencies. In just the last 30 minutes, we were told by Oklahoma City Police, they strongly believe the suspect in the Hobby Lobby shooting has died, but they did not share exactly how he died from his own hand or from the crash or some other way. Again, this all stems from a shooting at the Hobby Lobby Dis Distribution Center at Southwest 44th and Council. And that is where Oklahoma City Police say one person was killed after an employee shot their manager. News 4's Ashley Moss was at the scene tonight. And Ashley, do we know what led up to the shooting? Well, that's exactly what investigators said they're trying to figure out tonight. But it all started with the call. Shots fired in a facility. Look at how the rest of the evening unfolded. This afternoon at approximately 4.45, uh, our dispatch received a call to a, uh, a shooting here at the Hobby Lobby. Uh, an altercation began. It got heated. Uh, the employee produced a weapon of some type and shot the manager at least one time. Police say a heated showdown inside this Hobby Lobby distribution center along South Council Road led to the shooting. And that manager is now deceased. We're, we're actively, actively looking for the suspect. One employee arriving for her shift but turned away at this barricade. Telling News 4 away from the camera, no one notified her about the incident. Police say they're still piecing together the timeline of events, but the warehouse was full of workers at the time. No word yet on what that argument was about. Way too early to have any, any information like that. That'll be something that homicide investigators will, will uh, determine uh, through the course of the investigation. Now we want to take you back out live to the scene of that standoff again. Oklahoma City Police telling us the suspect has died. Now Eric Foster with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol just spoke to our crew on the scene. He told us the plate on the car is a match for the car seen leaving the Hobby Lobby Distribution Center. The suspect is also a match. However, they were not able to talk with him, so they can't 100% positively identify him. But again, they do believe that it's him. Of course, we're going to keep following this story, bring you all any updates as soon as we learn them. A lot of that matching up, though. Yeah, well, absolutely. Should find out more tomorrow morning for sure. Absolutely. We're definitely going to stay on this. All right. Ashley, thank you. Thank you.